Hello there guys, it's me Unstable Voltage and welcome back to episode 3 of Age of Wonders Planet 4. We've just reached the end of our turn in the last video after annexing another sector for our colony. We're still waiting to get another unit in this army before we go and attack those neutrals. We should get that on the next turn, so let's go ahead and end the turn. And there we go, we have our new unit. So let's go ahead and move him down to join the army, if I can click on him. So we do have enough movement with our army to go and attack him. No, we don't. We're just outside of it uh, because this guy's obviously used all of his uh, movement up. Uh, we can afford to go ahead and grab another one of these being modded. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, Alpha Strain Inception is completed. It isn't disease that breaks civilizations. This Alpha Strain can infect every living thing. Some will grow stronger while others are afflicted and die. That uncertainty erects quarantine barriers and awakens a sickening cruelty already lodged deep in the human heart. Dr. Marvin Mentor, Union Center for Disease Control. So we can now get these uh, Xenoplague Parasites as well. We need to select a new research. Um, the game isn't recommending any in particular. What does that give us? Killing enemies affected by your parasitic infection can now spawn um, pustules under your control upon winning combat. Well, that sounds like something that we want to have. Sure, let's go ahead and re start researching that. Uh, on Nurturing Sun as well. For decades, we slept in slavery, dreaming of a lost world in our martyred hive queen. Now we share a fresh vision, a healthy brood and work for a future in which we can pursue our lost dream. Chikuku Kosrax, Swarm Herald. So this gives us a colony upgrade. Um, colony gains 50% of their food income after upkeep as, production dis uh, as a production discount when producing units. Nice. And it gives us um, a choice of doctrine operations. Again, we only have a limit of one doctrine that we can use right now. Dream sharing. All units gain 25 experience from combat and preserving the future. All owned colonies benefit from an increase of food income. Not sure we need to use one of those right away. Um, so aquatic deployment is pretty useless for us. Um, let's go for food development. I mean, what if we look at our actual um, colony, colony overview. Food and science is our like, lowest produced thing. Although tech wouldn't be too bad. Um, let's have a look. Yeah, let's go for research deployment because it'll pay itself back then because we'll be able to research other stuff faster. So that's fine. We'll go ahead and do that. Uh, ops ready to prime. Operations available for priming. So we can fire off these doctrines. We are limited to how many we can have running at a time. Do we need to have any of these running? I mean, the exp I don't think we need either of them. Uh, I don't think I'm going to bother with either of them, actually. I think we'll save them. Uh, unit requires orders. So you can actually now go and fight this unit. So let's go and do so. This is a downed ship. I think downed ship gives you research. So let's go in and combat here. I actually forgot to do something. I wanted to um, put those mods on the melee units. Because being able to infect them will be really good for us. So, we are quite a distance away from these guys. Um, we know that you're a support unit. Uh, both of you guys are... You're melee. You, I believe, are ranged. So, these are our hidden units. Let's go ahead and move you up here. Again, we know we've got Agile Overwatch, so we'll put you on Overwatch in that direction. We'll put you next to one of our melee units so that you get the protection from the swarm. We'll go and move our hero over here. We'll put you onto Overwatch. His line of sight is slightly boxed, blocked, but again, we'll put you on over there so you get protection from the swarm. And we will move you... We might as well move you up there as well because you'll get protection from the swarm. And you can kind of just hide around the corner. Again, you might as well stay close because you'll you'll all have swarm shield for doing that. Um, 
Everyone else can just tonk her down. And that's all we can do on that turn. We actually missed there. Now he's absorbing pain on that unit. This is his melee unit. He's going to use his AoE. Oh, that was nasty. Taking out some of our armor. No, he's actually flanking us, I believe. No, he grazed us, so we do get a counter attack. Are you actually going to use your psionic attack? You are. Wow. Okay. Operations available. Wasn't expecting all of that. Now we have our operations available. So this gives us that parasitic strike. Um, let's go ahead and use it on... So we want to select it. And we're going to use it on this unit. So it won't... Oh, it resisted. How annoying. Didn't really want it to do that. Okay, so we need to start taking some of these enemies out. Let's take that support unit out. I know that support unit isn't our biggest problem right now, but um, it's helping the others. Now, that thing is on Overwatch, but I think we can take it out. Yeah, it didn't do a huge amount of damage to me. Um, we can take it out with this melee unit. Enemy killed. And then you can take that out. Oh, actually, you didn't manage to finish it off. I'm surprised at that. Uh, what is the range on this thing? It is in range. There, we got Bring it. Down. So, just one unit remaining. And we can... Now, he is on Overwatch. But I'm, I'm going to risk it anyway. We'll just run and attack him. That does stagger him, so he's got one fewer actions that he can use on his next turn. We're out of actions. Yeah, he's just straight up attacking us. That's fine. So we're going to get our support unit to go around here. And we'll heal him up. And can we use the tactical operation again? We can. Let's see if he doesn't resist it. Parasitic infection. Excellent. So now we want to kill this unit. So, we'll move you to there. And it's dead. So, enemy annihilated. as it was infected with the parasitic... The enemies of the hive have been defeated. The parasitic unit, will that give me a new unit? Uh, crashed research ship, so that gives us 53 research. Unfortunately, we didn't get a new unit. That is a shame. Definitely some stuff down here that we want to have a look at. Uh, we can move a little bit further. So let's move down and recover a little. That looks nice. This is a teleporter. I'm not sure what, what that does. That looks cool as well. Shrysite. Yeah, we definitely... I mean, we could colonize this and have, a, have it as a second colony. We will look into that on the next turn. So you guys can't move down to there yet. So we're going to get you to skip your turn and we'll end the turn. Message from the Growth Faction. Uh, you've given us another quest now as well. Ten turns remaining. Um, didn't see where that objective was, but that's fine. We'll deal with that in a moment. Oh, is that the same quest? We'll have a look. How much movement does this flying thing have? 32. Now, you... Can reach that on a single turn. So if I join you up with that army, you should be able to attack this. There we go. Attack it with a full army. Um, 570 versus 440. That's pretty close matched, I'll be honest. Uh, let's go in and, and manual combat, though. We have upgraded two of our units. Now, the flyer I'm not familiar with. The problem is here, we, we do have a lack of... Um, like everything we have is melee. So, I think we're just going to keep everything defensive and let them come to me for another turn or two. 
Operations available. Right, so now we've got operations available. So let's go ahead and spend some of our energy to try and infect these things. It does do damage as well, so it's worth using. Um, again, let's let's just have another round of letting them come closer to us. If they will, they may not. Yeah, they're repositioning, but they really don't want to um, come much closer. So let's just go and move some units a little bit further forwards and put them into cover. Don't want to stand next to that car because that can explode. And keeping melee units close together is not a bad idea. Simply because with melee units, um, they will have the uh, retaliation. Now, can a flying unit occupy the same hex as a melee unit? A ground unit? Yes, yes, they can. Good to know. Right, what are they going to do now? Are they going to move forward? Oh, I've got to end turn. Always forget to hit end turn. Right, you are moving forwards. Now, you will take uh, retaliation attacks from that. You're moving forwards also. As are these guys. Right, you're already infected. Let's go ahead and use Parasitic Strike on that one as well. Right, so can we kill this one off? Let's try and do it with our flying thing, if we can. So th it's flanked, so we should be able to kill that. Excellent. And then we can take this unit... Trying to set the right one. And we can flank this thing. Should be able to finish it off now. Enemy annihilated. Excellent. Um I think we'll wait for that. Can we actually hit that from here? Yes, we can. So let's go and spit acid at it. And then I guess we use our flyers to take out the other flyer. He is on overwatch, but... Oh, we got an overwatch shot because we grazed. Um, we can attack with this unit as well. There we go, it's dead now. So they've only got the one unit left. He's going to jump into the middle of the melee there. Uh, again, let's use the flying unit. And then we can finish him off with you. Enemy eliminated. Took a little damage, but the enemies of the hive have been defeated. Not that much. So that completes our mission. We gain all of this stuff. We can just sell it if we want. Take straight up energy. Um, but no, we'll we'll take the rewards. Uh, so they do have another quest for us. Uh, is that all the way down there? Is that the quest they gave us? It is. Wow, that is a long way away. Of course, we can do that with this army. That is an option we have. So if we went here, can we annex it if we had enough population? Set to limit is reached. Need two more colonists. Yeah, or we could build another colony, but we need a colonizer unit, which we currently don't have. So, what is this thing? Visit sites are remnants of the Star Union that give a visiting army a boost. This can either be an instant effect or an effect that lasts until the end of the unit's next combat. So, where does this take us to? Up there. Okay, well, that, we don't really need that. Like to grab that. There's a lot of enemy units around here. This this place is infested. And we need to get over there. Yeah, there's some nasty looking These stuff. These are marauders. Hostile armies that either roam around the planet looking for locations to attack or camp on spawners to defend them. Yeah, we need to clear some of these red ones out. Particularly that one, because it's heading towards our, our... Heading towards our home. So, we might do that with the smaller army, actually. Because we don't really need to be getting involved in all of this rubbish down here. 
Yeah, we might just back out with, with these guys. We've completed that mission, so let's just move back a little bit. We, we want to defend uh, home, basically. I'm going to stay here because I don't want to end my turn next to one of these guys and get attacked. Yeah, that Marauder's moving closer to us, so let's get you moving in this direction. And as you can't do anything on this turn, can we upgrade you guys to give you the Parasite? We've got the energy. Yeah, so let's go ahead and do that. So these guys are going to be called Contaminated, and then we can go in and we can... Um... No, we don't want to do that. I want to do this one. It becomes expensive doing this for everything, but... By having... By having this um, on these guys, I won't need to worry about using the uh, tactical operation in battle. Um, our other army... Well, this well we, we've run out of uh, Cosmite again. Uh, let's get you over here. Deal with that marauding army should it he head in our direction. So what have we got going on here? Unknown commander completed the emissary as a pioneer. Do two quests for NPCs. Achieve peace with an NPC faction. Well, we're going to be doing that. Uh, pustule mutation. The plague has now evolved aggressive mobility to a degree that ordinary, unarmed Star Union citizens would not survive a close-up encounter. Dr. Elamanda Fink, geneticist for Terratech Advanced Research Division. Hero equipment. Pestilence. Strike the target with pestilence. High impact stagger units. Um, high impact stagger units reducing action points and cancelling defensive modes. By, uh, melee bypass all defensiveness. Parasitic infection. St um, eight strength chance to apply parasitic infection to biological and cyborg units until the end of combat. Nice. I'm not really using this hero as a melee hero, but you can get more heroes to lead your army. So you'll always have your main hero, who's your faction leader, uh, but you can get other heroes that, that can lead armies for you, basically. Um, regeneration. Accelerated healing. Um, this is a defensive mod. Uh, this unit gains regeneration, healing 15% of maximum health each turn in combat and recovers all of its health at the start of its owner's turn on the strategic map. Nice. And there is a tactical operation. Target non-mechanical unit is healed 15 hit points. This heal can jump to nearby friendly units within a 2 hex range up to 2 times. Sounds like a no-brainer to me. In conclusion, knowledge is power. But being well-educated has an additional benefit. No one can call you stupid. Especially if you've researched weaponry that could vaporize them if they did. Dr. Millicent Rickles, head researcher, Lazolite Incorporated. So we've got um, a colony upgrade research sector level. So it gives plus one level to all research sectors. Raising the sector level of a sector will increase the benefits from sector exploitations and sector uh, epistolizations. Shouldn't that be specializations? I think that must be a typo. Specializations in that set set sector. Uh, society investment sector. It has to be built in a research sector, and so does that one as well, Military Innovation Center. Let's go for the food one now, because we do want to get that going as quickly as we can. This marauding army. It is heading our way. Oh, excuse me. My voice is really going on me today. Right. If he comes and attacks me, that's fine. Defenders move first. We'll take it. Let's go ahead and complete this quest. We should easily do this, but I want to do it manually. Uh, mostly because I want to use our new uh, our new ability, so we we can infect people with parasites from the uh, from the melee guys. They've got these pustule things. These are all fairly new units. Now the question is, how close are you guys going to get? Um, operations do take several turns to charge so you can't do them straight away let's get you on overwatch 
Let's put you next to you. Let's have you around that side. On defensive. You should be hidden. Let's have you over here. Agile Overwatch. And then we'll have our melee units next to you. Um, there and there, I think. It's probably good enough. And fine. End the turn. See if they come towards us. See what they do. You take an Overwatch shot. You're attacking my support unit. That's your support unit. Ah, you missed. Couple of grazes. We'll take that. And then in come the flyers. Quite annoying, really. Right, okay. First of all, let's go ahead and shoot this thing. Oh, that thing's absorbing the pain. We need to take that out, really. Um, okay, well, let's take other stuff out first. Uh, let's try and kill that thing off if we can. We will take Overwatch. Inf oh, wow, we've got a parasitic infection on our uh, on our leader there. We should be able to kill that off, though. Enemy killed. Excellent. Um, the fly is quite annoying. We can do this to it. It's repeating, so we get three hits. That's weakened it significantly. And we've got two melee units. Let's move these guys in closer. And we'll do what we can to it. We will, might take some um, retali retaliatory shots. We're doing the damage over here to this thing, though. So those are almost dead. Uh, what I could do, and what I will do, is I'll do um, parasitic operation on it. Because now we just kill both of those straight away. This is the only guy left now. End our turn. So we're going to retaliate all over the place now. Going to trigger all of our overwatches. I think we can just straight up shoot him with this guy. And then one melee attack to finish him off. Enemy down. Excellent. Okay, so that's another quest completed. Our forces are victorious. Should have healed that guy with this guy before I did that. Objective completed. So what does this give us? This gives us a tier 2 defense mod. Tactical supply chain. Resupply friend, the target friendly unit. Resetting its once per battle abilities in cooldown. Can only be used once per battle. That is quite nice. And it's a mod. So I could give that for example if I was if I were to give that to this support unit oh, it's not there Maybe I have to wait one turn for it but that would allow him to use his um his share pain ability more than once I'll probably clear that out and get the down ship. We could do that on the same turn, to be honest. We can upgrade our commander. He's got uh, another point now. Um, we could give him piloting and put him in a vehicle. Because I don't really use his psionic thing. And there is a, there is a vehicle that he could be using... He's also got a bomb. In case something for two turns. No, he can use tactical supply charge. Interesting. Do we want to give him piloting? Echo of the hive mind. The hero provides additional to defense to... Yeah, see, the swarm stuff is nice. Let's take that. Frenzy is result. The unit's melee attacks give it frenzy. I don't usually melee with him. 
Increases damage dealt with melee weapons. I don't really use that either. Counter attack. Melee overwatch can no longer be cancelled by stagger and will never miss. Again, I don't really use him for melee either. Um, parasitic spray. Apply parasitic infection to biological and cyborg units until the end of combat. Yes. Let's take that. Um, I do want to attack that thing. I'm going to move a little bit closer. But I'm going to do nothing for a turn. We've completed this. Completed. Oh, that's what gave us that that cementing bomb for completing that that task. Okay. Uh, another empire is complete. Oh, completed the emissary. Empire task completed. Excellent. And relations have improved with them. Uh, so we're now at peace. We were neutral before. We're now at peace. They're also over here as well. Looks like we've got a lot of stuff going on. Um, so yeah, what we want to try and do next is, uh, is uh, annex a new sector or gain another colony. Probably want to annex this sector up here if we can at some point. Let's end the turn. Marauding army there attacking these guys. We should be okay. Uh, let's go and attack this marauding army here. 570 to 340. Again, I'm going to do it manually. Just because I don't want to lose units. I never like doing the auto-resolve unless it's an absolute whitewash. Because the problem with auto-resolve is the, the, the game will often just decide you're going to lose a unit. Which, you know, we prefer not to happen. Uh, I'm going to use my usual trick of just getting everybody in defensive mode and letting them come into me. Um... These are biological, so we can go ahead. And, oh, can't use operations yet. Of course, we can't. Let's, operations ready. Let's let them come a little bit closer to us. They chose not to. Uh, operations are ready, so let's go ahead and start dropping them in. Don't like the fact that these guys have a shield. Let's start moving in a little bit with the flyers if we can. Haven't got the range that we need. Let's just start moving in with anybody. We'll, we'll put them all in cover. They do have a def really good defensive ground there. I don't like that, but... Oh, I'm triggering Overwatch by doing that. My bad. That was silly. Um... Yeah, let's just move forwards with everybody. We might take some hits that I'd sooner we didn't. But if we keep everybody relatively close together. Yeah, you probably can't reach anything. Nope, everything's out of range. Okay, let's see what happens. We might lose a unit here. Unless he kills it with this one. That looks like the, Ver the Vergar things. Okay. Uh, yeah, he has killed that unit. That's a shame. Lost a unit, but we can handle that. So, let's get our spitty units here. Nobody's on Overwatch, so let's move a little closer. Ninety percent chance to hit this guy. Didn't do a lot of damage, really. Um, if we try and move any further than that, we will take um, an Overwatch hit because we'll be moving past him. So that did do some damage. We can attack with the flying unit though. So let's go ahead and do that. Enemy annihilated. So you're now gone. We can take the other flying unit and just go and attack this guy. See if we can stagger him. Might take, might end up taking an unfortunate hit there. Can we hit from this range? Yes, we can. 
that helps. And we can do a parasitic strike on this guy. Okay, hopefully we won't lose any more units. He's staggered, so we only got two uses. And a big shotgun blast from the Dvergar. Right, that should finish you off. Enemy destroyed. And now we've got the Dvergar unit to take out. Should have moved closer there. It would have increased our chance of hitting. Yeah, that's not giving us the, the best chance to hit there. Let's move forwards a little more. Still only 45%, but... Plenty of other units we can finish it off with. Um, you have not got great health, but you should be able to kill it. There we go. Enemy destroyed. The enemies of the hive have been defeated. Unfortunate to lose a unit, but this is only our secondary army, so. And we still didn't gain anything back for doing that. Um, I would like to grab that, whatever it is. It's a it's a visit site. We will we will we'll go there on the on the next turn. Orders required for our main army. Uh, I think we're going to go ahead and get this other downed uh, ship here for the research. I'm just going to auto resolve this. We're at full health and we've got three times the power, so we'll do auto combat and we won. Didn't uh, we took some damage, but you know didn't lose anything. So that gives us 67 research, and then we want to kind of give these things a bit of a a wide berth and 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 come home this way around. Uh, set production at our capital. So we can actually straight up train the units that have the um, the units that have been upgraded. So you can see the normal uh, frenzied here, and then we've got the cleaving frenzied and the contaminated frenzied, but they do have that additional um, cosmite cost. We're having some happiness problems here, so we probably want to sort that out. Um, So yeah, our happiness is is kind of in in the toilet right now. Um, there isn't really anything that we can build to fix that. Got no rioters at the moment. Got nothing that we can do to sort of cr increase our happiness. Uh, we def recreational dome actually. Yes, that's what we need. So we'll build that. That'll sort. That'll help with the happiness problem. Um, then after that, we probably want to get just another, maybe a normal Frenzied. Or maybe one of those guys, just a Cleaving Frenzied. We could do be getting a Colonizer, to be honest. So maybe we'll, we'll just get a normal Frenzied for now. So you can't just go ahead and upgrade uh, everything and mod everything. Because it does have, a, a you know, quite an impactful cost. It's not always worthwhile doing. Anyway, that is the end of the turn, and we're well over the 30-minute mark, so I'm going to end the video there. Once again, thanks a lot for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying Age of Wonders Planetfall. I'll see you on the next video, and until then, goodbye for now.